Hey you, now Kaiser coming at you today with another guide. Today I'd like to talk about the double rubber setup. Before we begin, if you like videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day at 8 p.m. EST. I also post Among Us videos and other videos that I just feel like making. It's free, you can always hit the unsubscribe button if you'd like. With that out of the way, let's get started. The main concept of the double rubber setup is that you can run straight into hospital to make handbok. And then you can also use the second rubber to make wristband, which you can choose to make into drop near. The handbok you can make into a covered agent uniform or dazzling armor with purified water. Although with this, you always want to do a covered agent uniform because it gives you the 3% crit rate, whereas the dazzling armor gives you 10% increased chance to find the enemy. This is not valuable at all. You don't need this. So why is the setup so powerful? First, we get to cover our arm armor and our body armor in one go. Another thing to note is that you can also get slippers at hospital, so this also covers your leg gear as well. As well as cover food when we stop by hospital, because, you know, all the pills and bandages and stuff. And then we also get to cover stamina when we stop by well and we make the purified water for our body armor. The second benefit is if we do decide to finish drop near, we can actually use its ability, which is every fifth time I craft food, I get an extra plus one of that food. It has the potential to straight up win games. You can intentionally set it up so that you duplicate a crimson flower, so that's an extra 220 healing just from this arm gear alone. The double rubber setup is not a setup you can force. There's a couple dangers to the setup. The first danger is if you have blade in the lobby. The most popular blade setup is Monohoshi Zao, which typically goes temple first and then a hospital second. Uh, part of the reason is because they need to get like the fountain pen for the blueprint and stuff like that. And they also need a hammer for their iron sheets. They can also grab slippers. There is so much they get out of going hospital second that you can almost expect a blade player to be there at their second area every single time. Because we know this, we know that they're entering hospital with katana. If they get there before you do, they're going to have food as well. So if you decide that you're going to contest the blade player, you got to be ready to fight them off no matter what. A lot of deciding whether or not to fight them is based on how quickly you get your double rubber. If, for example, like let's say we were doing the lighthouse double rubber setup and we were blade, for example, right? So if we go to lighthouse, and let's say we get Reaper Scythe really quickly and we get the double rubber really quickly, we can just go straight into there. We should have no problems. Uh, if we're doing the hand setup, if we get Iron Knuckle really quickly, which is actually does more damage than Katana, and we get our double rubber set up, then it makes sense to go into there. If we don't get it quickly, you generally want to be doing something else. On the topic of generally want to be doing something else, uh, this build has the tendency to be too slow sometimes early so you kind of do it as a the the item the game offered me these items and i'm going to take advantage of it right now so let's say we're doing a lighthouse start on hand right and typically what we want to do is we want to go for the boiling water and the uh, knuckle and go straight into trail right but let's say we grab the knuckle we get iron knuckle we haven't grabbed the lighter yet but the game just gives us two rubbers it's like okay i can just go straight into this build now and the build's very powerful, but again, don't go super hard into it. <laughs> a couple of key takeaways is that there are five rubbers at Lighthouse, two at Cemetery, and three at School. This is... If you see it, go for it. If you don't, don't force it. And with that, that's the double rubber setup. If you like the video, please like it. Please leave me a comment about any questions you have. I'll try to answer all of them that you can. And of course, you can also join uh, one of my Discords. I have a Discord for Black Survival, and I have a Discord for, like, asking me questions and getting more resources on Black Survival. You can find both of those in the description below. Peace.